My name is Peter Overstreet from Aeronaut Productions, and you're watching the Steampunk History Beyond Imagination's online video blog. So we're here at SFO, and we're going to be heading on down to Los Angeles to uh, take a look at a time machine today. Uh, we're in North Hollywood, and uh, we're here at uh, Makeup and Effects Labs, you know, out here, and we're here with a very special guest. Uh, we're visiting this gentleman. This is Mr. Don Coleman, who has uh, graciously offered to help us with our time machine. And so, Don, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been in the business of entertainment here for since 1986, doing props and models, that kind of stuff, for television, movies, commercials. We did nine seasons of Star Trek, so I kept us very busy at the time, and some really fun stuff on that show. Very, very cool. Yeah. So, and you, you have a unique distinction in the world of time machine enthusiasts. You yeah. actually run the website uh, as far as time machine modelers and uh, full-scale replica builders are concerned. They all come to you, don't they? Or? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> what's the web? What's the web address? Oh, it's uh, timemachineproject.com. Okay, timemachineproject.com. So introduce us to your, your beautiful beauty. Give us a little background here on this, okay, the beginnings this, of this replica here. This one sort of started several years ago. Uh, the chair was in another machine that I built, and it was in a small museum up in Sacramento, and they went out of business and the machine was sold off. Uh, the owner of that machine has since bought a real uh, barber chair to put in his, and so he asked me if I wanted the chair back from that I had built from the other one. So I said yes, not knowing what to do with it at the time. <laughs> and like two weeks later, someone said they needed a machine, so I started building one. And that's how this one got started. What's the most challenging thing, would you say, about building a time machine replica, apart from the research, obviously, but there are obviously a lot of bizarre shapes on this thing. Well, the hardest thing, if you don't already have a barber chair, is to build the chair because there's a lot more detail in the chair than probably the rest of the machine. Now the, the guy who owns the original time machine, Bob Burns, mm -hmm. his, his, when he found it, there's a, there's a famous documentary about him finding it in the thrift store in Orange County and restoring it with all these guys like Tom Sherman. And Apparently the chair went missing. And like, isn't there a rumor that somebody thinks they've actually found it, or? Yeah, apparently there's a guy down in Atlanta, Georgia, who says he's got the chair. Well, thanks a lot, Don. We're, uh, we're looking forward to seeing the time machine in the exhibit, and we thank you very much for being a participant, and you bet. welcome aboard. So, <laughs> thanks a lot. So we saw the time machine today and we uh, got a tour of a really cool special effects company and it's been a really long day. We had a long drive from uh, Burbank to Anaheim and now we're off to deal with probably one of the hardest parts of the evening. Disneyland! Disneyland! Woohoo! We'll see you later. <laughs>